Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Mrs. Norris here, and today I'm going to show you how to do Lesson 2.1, Sports Acronyms. So in this activity, we're going to be learning how to format a document. Um, I'm going to move underneath the tutorial here to the overview. Surfing the internet and catching up on the latest news in the sports world is a daily ritual for some people. Headlines and articles often use acronyms when writing about specific sports leagues and organizations, so it's important for readers to know them. An acronym is when they take a longer word or phrase and shorten it down to just letters. For example, one of the acronyms you'll see today is NBA, which is an acronym for National Basketball Association. Continuing with the overview. As a true sports fan, you decide to create a list of the most popular sports acronyms and their meanings for your easy reference. So with this activity today, these are the skills that we're going to be learning. They may or may not be new to you, but we're going to go over them anyway. So you're going to learn the different ways to select text. You're going to learn how to format text, use undo, use redo, clear your formatting, and use Zoom. Okay, <clears throat> so the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open a Google Doc. So again, what I suggest that you do is that you have this screen open in one window and your drive open in another window. Okay, so you can kind of switch between the two. Now, um, I'm going to kind of sidetrack for a second. And if you have the opportunity to um, download from the Chrome store, the Chrome app store, there's an app called Duelist. So I'm going to actually go to the Chrome store and show this app to you. So I'm going to type Chrome web store. And we need the extension, but that's okay. So where it says search the store, we're going to sort, search for Duelist. It's D-U-A-L-L-E-S-S. -L -L -E -S -S. Duelist. Okay. <clears throat> and it's this first one here. You can see I've already added it. But if you have the opportunity to add this um, extension to your Chrome, it's going to make it easier for you to split your screen so that when you have two here and you can see that they overlap with my Duelist extension, if I click, I can make it so that they're 50%. So each is half and half. I can make it so that my one on the right is a little bit bigger than the one on the left. I'm going to do the half and half. Why it didn't work? Let's try again. There we go. Okay, so we have half and half on our screen here. Okay, so that's how Duelist can kind of help you with that. So I'm going to go back to my drive from that little diversion. And we want to make sure that we open our Norris 2020 folder. So I'm going to double click to open it. And then I want to open my My Docs folder. So I'm going to double click to open that. And you can see we already have some documents in that folder and we need to create a new one today. And from my um, assignment, I can see that I need to name it first and last name, just like I've been doing, colon lesson 2.1. So I'm gonna create a new document. And in the untitled document section, I'm going to rename it my son's name just for sake of being a student. Okay, and then hit return. <clears throat> and I can see if I switch back to my My Docs tab, it's going to show up. Okay. So pause the video and do that for me now. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to copy the information that we see in our box, in our text box here, okay? Now, it tells you in the instructions to skip a line between each list item. 
To do that, you're going to hit return or enter two times. Okay, so I'm going to type sports acronyms. And then I'm going to hit return two times. One, two. AFC space space American football conference. Return two times. ESPN space dash space entertainment and sports programming network. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'd like you to pause the video and continue typing the rest of the list here. Remember to hit the return or enter um, button to key two times between each line and also to add a space between your acronym and your dash and then your dash and your full name. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and continue the rest of this list. And when you are done, we'll come back and continue the rest of the assignment together. All right, so at this point, you should have finished copying the rest of the list. So you have all of your, your um, acronyms listed here, okay, and it's automatically saved, so you don't have to press any button for saving. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to um, pull out my box a little bit, my window a little bit larger, so I can show you the different things that you're going to be using today. So we're going to be using the toolbar up at the top here. Okay, now there's a lot of different features of the toolbar that we're going to be using as time goes on. For example, the spell checker button, the paint format, these are things that will happen later. Okay, we're going to focus today on looking at um, the font, looking at the size, using bold, italic, underline and font color or text color okay and we're going to focus on using this last one here clear formatting okay so again the ones that we're going to be using today are font font size bold italic underline text color and then clear formatting Okay, now there are different ways to select um, text on a document. So one thing that you can do is you can click and highlight. That's how you can select. When you click and highlight, you can click just a portion of a sentence and so on. Okay, or you can highlight the whole sentence, right? Another option for selecting text is to double click on a word. And if you double click, it will highlight just that word. It can get kind of hard though, because sometimes if you double click too many times, it'll unselect or whatever. So some, this one's kind of takes a little bit of practice. So I can double click to do just a word, or I can triple click to do the whole line. Okay, so again, the three ways to select text are to click and drag your mouse and then let go double click for just a word, triple click for a whole line. Okay, so whatever is easiest for you will be the way that you select text today. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this back over. Okay, now if we look down below, um, one of the thing, one of the skills that we're learning, but for most of us is review, is how to use Zoom. So again, our Zoom button is right here next to our paintbrush and our textile. So we're gonna use the zoom button. We can make it bigger or smaller. 200 is way too big. 50 is way too small. If we do fit, it will just fit it into the window. Okay, so let's do fit to fit it into our window. All right, now scrolling underneath our list that we were meant to copy is our directions for how we are going to format our text, okay? So for example, it says number one, select the title of the document, sports acronyms, so that's this right here, then change the font size to 18. So I'm gonna triple, I didn't wanna do that. 
I'm going to select <laughs> sports acronym and I'm changing the font size to 18. So I have a couple of different ways I can change it. I can double click on the number and just write 18 and then hit return. Okay. Or I can use my plus button here. <clears throat> or I can click and then select 18 from the list. Okay. Any way that you choose, change your font size to 18. Number two, change the font of AFC American Football Conference to Times New Roman. So I'm going to select the whole thing. Okay. And now I'm going to go to my font selector and I'm going to scroll down to Times New Roman. Okay. Now the next thing tells me to do undo. So there's a couple of different ways that you can undo. You can just do undo right here. You can go to edit and undo. Or you can use your key shortcuts for an Apple. That would be um, command. I just do it so automatically. Command Z. <laughs> I do it so automatically I forget. Command Z if you're on a, um, a Mac. I'm not quite sure Chromebook, so I'm not going to misspeak and tell you the wrong key. So if you don't know what the shortcut key is for your computer, the easiest thing to do is just to do undo. Okay. Step number three, we undid. Now we're going to redo. So that's the next. You can either click the arrow here, you can go to insert and then redo here, or you can do command Y if you have a Mac. I don't know what you would do if you had a um, Chromebook. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and redo. So I should now be back at Times New Roman. So I can tell it says Times New Roman. So I did that correctly and I'm ready to move on. So I'm just going to continue to work through the rest of this here. At this point, go ahead and pause your video and continue working through the rest of this. I think the only one that you might need the most help with is the one um, where you are clearing your formatting. So we were supposed to change in number 10. Let's do number 10 together. I do want you to do five through nine on your own, but right now let's do number 10 together. And it says, change the font color of NBA National Basketball League to orange. So I'm gonna to go to NBA, I'm gonna change it to orange. And unless it tells you what specific color to change it to, you can change it to any shade of orange that you want. And if you notice, I just clicked on the ellipses to bring down the rest of my menu bar that I can't see because my window is small. So I'm gonna to go to text color and I'm just gonna select the first orange. And you can see that it's orange now. And then it says to underline it. So I'm gonna use the underline key to underline it. Now it tells me in number 12 to clear my formatting. So if I select that line that I just turned, changed to the color orange and underlined, and then I click on my T, my crossed out T to change the formatting, it changes it back to what it was before. Okay. So we've left off with, um, what do we leave off on? Let me just make sure. Number five. So you're picking up and doing the rest of this on your own now. So go ahead and pause the video. And when you come back, we'll be ready to finish out and submit our work. So go ahead and pause the video and work through your re the rest of your list. Again, remember you're using mostly font, font size, bold, italic, and underline and font color, okay? Again, for changing the font size, you can also just click and then type in a number and then hit return and it will change it to the size, okay? So pause the video now, work through the rest of your list and come back to the video when you're done and we'll continue working to submit our document. All right, so at this point, you should have finished the rest of your list and formatting, and yours sh should look similar to what mine, well, it should look exactly like what mine looks like on your screen here. So once you've finished all of your formatting and yours, your, um, 
text list is done, your acronym list is done, then you're ready to submit. So our instructions tell us that we're going to download our document as a PDF and submit through Canvas. So we did this as the last in the last assignment, and so this should not be anything new to you. So I'm just going to move this over to the side so you can see when it shows up as the PDF here. Okay. So I'm going to go to File, and then I'm going to go to Download, and then I'm going to go to PDF Document. And remember, we don't have to rename a PDF document. It's going to hold the name of what we titled our um, original document. So again, File, Download, PDF. It's going to take a second to think. And now I have my PDF. So I'm going to go to my submit. Um, I'm actually not on the student version. Let me go to my student version really quick. OK, and then I'm going to submit my assignment, choose file. There's my PDF, and then open, and then submit. Let's see what food item I get today. Oh, no, no food, horseshoes. <clears throat> okay, so once you've submitted your document, you are done with lesson 2.1. Um, I will grade it for you. In the meantime, work on um, keyboarding practice or um, coding practice.